So it's 3.5 kg of larvae and it comes from 1 gram of eggs. Four point three. The weight of the spins is one kg. So it's three point three kg. I don't know what is my last video yeah I think it's been more than a week I didn't upload uh, any videos in my channel because I'm quite busy for these several weeks uh, today I'm doing some observations for plan for a bigger scale of cultivations of maggots uh, bigger than medium scale it's industrial scale and I'm doing some observations because this is the important stage at your initial stage every time every stage every steps I repeat again I calculate again because actually this is my daily activity in front of me here is a larvae in the bins. The weight of this larvae in this bin is around 3.5 kg. And it comes from 1 gram of uh, eggs. Yeah? As I said in my previous video that 2.5 grams of eggs will produce 10 kilograms of larvae if you want to make uh, spare calculations I always say that 2.5 to 3 grams of eggs will produce 10 kg you can use uh, 3 grams calculation for 10 kg of larvae here I calculate big grams of eggs to larvae like this and as you see here is larvae in the beans with 3.5 kg of larvae actually this is not quite big yeah uh, it takes two days more to get the bigger the biggest uh, size yeah we harvest this larvae in the age of 15 days it's uh, not at the top size yeah if I keep this for two days more and uh, keep feed them, it will reach around four, 4 kg from 1 gram. So 
2.5 grams will produce 10 kg of larvae. 1 grams will produce 4 kg of larvae. 2.5. Okay? So, but if you want to make spare calculation, 2, 3 grams to be for kg of larvae, it's still okay. Yeah? We never know that maybe some eggs uh, are damaged or uh, some larvae are dead or something like that. Yeah, uh, that's the spare calculations uh, proposed. Yeah, it also three point uh, four. Yeah, three point four, and it not and this larvae is not at the top size. Yeah, it takes about two more days. It's quite different with the larvae here it's bigger and it's uh, at the top size yeah it's 15 days it's bigger than this size of this larvae so when we give more two days for this larvae it will reach around 4 kg it's daily activity for me using this in my farm, but when we plan for another situations, I suggest to make, to repeat the observation, especially if your materials like uh, organic waste you will use is different than your activity before. So it's very important to calculate the quantity of waste you will use uh, the kind of waste also yeah you can check in my previous video uh, I took videos in the traditional market how we collect how we think about the quantity uh, regarding to our target this is the important stage at your initial stage to make a plan of your farm you can see another uh, previous video when I talk about five steps before doing black soldier fly cultivations since you make your target planning and designing of constructions now I'm heading to the industrial scale the bigger scale than medium scale so all step all stage I repeat again I observe again bigger scale or industrial scale take high cost financial high investment once we fail one our calculation is not right at your initial stage it will be high issue yeah we will we will lose maybe yeah. okay guys I have an idea to make some vlog on another playlist in these channels just to make update yeah keep update in this channel I will make some upload about my activity yeah so I will make some vlog playlist uh, you are now in the BSF cultivations uh, playlist in this channel but I will make another playlist yeah because not always every day I'm at the farm yeah sometime I'm visiting the other farmers discuss and something like that and I think it's uh, why not I make a video as a vlog yeah if you agree with my idea please say yes in the comment or if you think that it will disturbing uh, this channel please say no yeah I need your suggestion about my idea today I will continue my observations uh, I calculate about how many quantity feed needed in every kg of uh, larvae and it will determine the cost productions of this larvae of course uh, labor and machinery will use uh, in this uh, scale of activity here as I said also in the my previous video between house scale and medium scale all a uh, lot of stage and steps are similar between cage flies cage nursery uh, 
constructions of biopumps, something like that. Yeah. In medium scale, we only need one machine yeah, to cross, but not for industrial scale, not for a bigger scale. We need uh, more machines, in, uh, maybe in every steps, in every stage. Yeah. A lot of manual to do in every stage it will increase the cost of rational, yeah? So, talking about industrial, a lot of things we have to, to arrange, a lot of things we have to design at the initial stage. So, okay guys, keep following me on my activity today. <laughs> have Mr. Andre here. He is doing harvest the 15 days of larvae yeah, and separate with the frost. We're still doing in manual but not in the next stage. Yeah. We are in the small facility here where we are doing observations. Look. We have fresh and healthy larvae here. And after this larvae is separated from the frost, I will calculate how many kg per meter square, how many kg of uh, feed needed from the beginning um, until we harvest. And then this is the basic calculation to calculate the cost productions because uh, maggot is alternative protein. We have to make a low cost uh, productions to make it as alternative food in cost. Yeah, people trying to find alternative food to low cost their productions of farming, like poultry, fish, something like that. So that's why doing a, doing black soldier flies has to be proper in activity and the final cost. Once your uh, production cost of uh, this larvae is proper, uh, your target to save your production cost of farming, yeah, your farm, which is the biggest cost in farming is on the feed cost. So when your production of larvae is very low, you will save your production costs of your farming. That's why this observation stage is very important. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.